In today's video, we're finishing up the paint job we started in the previous video, and it is looking amazing. Let's go ahead and get started. What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. So in a previous video, I painted my Civic Hatch using Fusion Paint from Krylon. I typically use Rust-Oleum, but they have this exact color, which is what we need. Um, it has a nice matte finish to it. It was supposed to be gloss, but this works out even better for what we're going to be doing. So as you guessed, probably a uh, Raptor liner, of course, because I always do it. It's more textured, and I just love how durable it is. And on this 30-year-old car, it will keep it protected from the elements, rust, and so on. This car had a little bit of surface rust, but we went ahead and sanded it, primed all over the spots. They were only surfaced, they weren't through. And uh, this will help keep it protected. So basically we use this as a base coat for the Raptor liner that's in here. And as you can see this little paint mark here, that's the exact color that we are going on this car, which is the same color the car is. So in this kit, which I will leave a link in the description for this kit, you've got the tintable, um, Raptor liner. This is the little mixing cup it comes with. You fill it up to the very top with the hardener, eight fluid ounces of hardener. You pour the hardener in here and then about three ounces of the actual color, three to four ounces. Um, you want the ratio the same on every single one of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix them up with the correct ratios on them all. Um, we're going to do it as we need them because you only have about an hour's time or less depending on the temperature. To use these um, after an hour you put the second base coat on and then you're good to go but since this is already green it probably won't need two coats but if your car does not have the same color you're shooting over it you will definitely need more than two coats or at least minimum two coats so we're gonna go ahead and uh, mix all this up and uh, go from there but hope you guys enjoy the video if you're new here definitely consider subscribing all right so this here is single stage uh, basically a lime green color uh, it's from ppg which is actually at tasco in colleen texas most paint stores can pick up uh, mix up ppg paint so this is basically just single stage paint and once we add it into here this hardener will actually harden it up as well so this right here was a one and a half pint uh, thing which is good for six liters of raptor liner we shouldn't use all of that since we already have a lime green base coat but uh, this is one liter by the way and we're just basically going to fill this up to the halfway mark, which I just measured out um, the halfway mark between the 237 milliliter. So this will be just the green paint. And then in this mixing cup, we'll have eight fluid ounces of hardener from Raptor Liner. So basically gonna do that. My brother's already shaking this up really, really well. You wanna make sure they get it done at a paint shaker or just shake it up really, really well and stir it and you'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this up, and then we'll start laying some down on the car. Ooh, that's going to look good. Now I like to put the hardener in first and then the color, just in case we mixed up too much color, we'll know about how much it should take, if that makes any sense. Eight fluid ounces. I like this pour spout. That's eight fluid ounces. Okay, so now we need to shake this up really well. Before putting the color in, this is what I like to do. Now that we've got that shook up, we're gonna go ahead and add the color, which is three to four ounces, just depends. This is four ounces and it is just barely up at the top, so it'll be perfect. Now we shake this up really well and we can start laying it on the car.
Using a McGraw 8 gallon compressor from Harbor Freight, it works fine for this. It's at 60 PSI. We're gonna go ahead and spray the uh, wing of the car first, and then uh, go from there. All right, so now we're gonna peel it, and if you've watched any of my other bedline videos, um, you want to peel away from the paint, and you want to peel it while it's tacky. It is super important to do this. I have had paint jobs where I've done this with the bedliner, peeled it after it was dry, and uh, it kind of peeled the paint up with it in large sections, because once it dries, it bonds as one piece, and it's really durable for that reason. So you want to make sure it's tacky and be very, very careful while peeling it away from the paint. So we're gonna go ahead and start peeling this, reassemble it, and then I'll show you the after.
Okay, so it's all put back together and it looks incredible. Now we did add some pearl shimmer to this so you can kind of see it. Um, it'll probably look better out in the sun with it like that. But we got everything reassembled on the inside. As you can see, the door panels do need to replace because they're 30 year old door panels. But it does look really good all the way through. We even got that polished uh, door striker, whatever it's called. I believe that's what it's called. Can't think right now. It's like 6 o'clock in the morning. We've been up all night working. But uh, yeah, it's looking awesome. I just love how it looks. Got that perfect texture. And it's, of course, dry already. And the carbon fiber hood will be getting restored on this channel. So I'm basically just going to be wet sanding and putting some clear over it. Some 2K. Not the 2X Rust-Oleum stuff. Some actual 2K clear. Might even use a spray gun on it. So we'll see. See what happens. Maybe some Speedo coat. But it looks awesome. It has like a gold shimmer to it. Because we did add gold flake and pearl. So it's pretty cool. But it just looks awesome. I can't get over it. We were staring at it before. <laughs> we were just staring at it and we should have been doing the recording. But my brother ended up wrapping this uh, gas lid in some dry carbon. It's kind of harder to see right here, but it looks really cool out in the sun. And we have to do the rest of the floor and stuff like that. But what we're, what we're going to do is get all the sound deadening up, clean it again. We've already pressure washed it once on the interior, shop vacked it. And then we're going to just bedline black all the uh, ground because we don't want it to rust at all. But I think it looks awesome. Ended up doing these black as well. So it actually looks really good with the, the black here. <laughs> this car is the best car I've seen. That's crazy. Uh, I got it's that. It's the best car we've done. The best car either one of us have owned is insane. Yours, yours is next, right? Yes. We're gonna do we're gonna do the EF like that. I was sold on the shiny paint job, but no, you cannot pass this up. The texture, the durability, the rust resistance. The rust resistance. It's easy to clean. You don't have to worry about scratches or door dings in Walmart or your kids hitting <laughs> your door on other people's door. Yep. I mean, it's good for highway use. I mean, bugs aren't a big deal. Rock chips. Yeah, there's so many pros and very little cons. For real. <laughs> oh, you don't get a shiny paint job. So. <laughs> I like them anyway. I like the satins and uh, yes. semi-glosses. But, I mean, Matt's blue car definitely yes. looks good with that good. high gloss. Well, I think. He's probably going to change his mind when he sees right, this. He's going to see this and be like, no. Let's and, do the, and, this color, blue metallic. So then we're going to do yours, Bedline, and then he's going to want it, and then we're going to do his on this channel. I, I'm Mark my I words. Guarantee. Mark my words. It's going to happen. You guys are going to see it, and you're going to be like, no, why'd you ruin such a perfectly good paint job? But, you know. It's crazy. I think the Raptor, with it being a matte finish and rough texture, the durability, all the pros, and it accents the body lines insanely. Yeah, like it does. Body lines, you don't even notice. Noticeable. Yeah, they, they pop out more and that's just with you know this color and the maroon it did that nope. I could only and imagine orange. I could only imagine a blue metallic So yeah guys definitely stay tuned I know you guys recently just watched this and if you haven't definitely go watch the video of us painting this um, it's really dewy right now because it's high humidity right now, but uh, yeah, this one still looks really good and so does so does Matt's his looks really good the blue metallic blue paint job but I don't know we're gonna get this hood restored a little bit and we're gonna do something like probably put mesh behind here with an interchangeable slot that way we can block it off when it's raining so we don't get rust and stuff but especially if you turbo you don't want that manifold to get all rusted yeah I don't want that but it's looking really awesome we are going to be doing these because a lot of people have said hey do those black um, we're gonna bedline it with this first and then up here kind of hard to see but uh, there's Raptor 2k and This is actually they sell it at Walmart. It's a 2k It's just like the 2k clear but Raptor liner and we're gonna do it with the black Raptor over all of those So it's gonna look amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video I I know a lot of you guys don't like my bedline paint jobs for some reason but I absolutely love them and to me that's more important than 
you know yeah pleasing the world but if you guys do like it i hope you guys like it as much as i do yeah. there's so much more to come on this and we've only had this car like three or four days three days it's Packed, insured, inspected, totally crazy apart, putting back together on the they probably think we're on drugs, but we don't do that. We have ADHD and insomnia, so we're just putting it to good exactly. use. And we're giving you guys content, so good content. yeah, just go ahead and hit the like button because you know you love it deep down inside. Even if you're a hater, even if you're a hater, you're like, that looks good. Okay, even though it's green baby poop, See, it still looks nice. good. Kids love it. They come up to shows and they're yeah, like, they, yeah. And I don't have a problem with the kids no. touching the car because what are they gonna do? Get it dirty? Ooh. Ooh. I have four kids, so no big deal. But yeah, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you didn't, please hit the dislike button. Let me know why you didn't like it. And uh, just, no, it doesn't matter <laughs> because I don't actually care if you didn't like it. But you guys have your opinions. You're entitled to them. I love the way the car's turning out. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. It was fun and a lot of work to do, but... We still have a lot left to do, so definitely stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe, turn the bell icon on to get notified of every upload, and stay tuned for the next video. So um, I guess I'm going to get off here. So as I like to say, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.